Okay, guys, we are back at it with AQST that is going on this major discount right now. And we were talking about AQST stock earlier when I was telling you guys that this stock was up there towards that overbought. You guys know how it is when that stock is overbought and dangerous, it's incoming with a down trend okay so for everybody who's asking about the next move on aqst if you caught that video on time earlier you would have been able to get out of there and lock in those games or whatever you had to do before that downtrend came in and everybody knows it's the same set of same strategy every single trade you are buying low and selling high aqst coming in for that next big bull run right now let me know if you made that dip in time i'm billy banks we're going to talk about the news and the fundamentals the charts and the technicals match it all up with the discord alerts and look through their websites and their most recent news which is great news to be coming out to find out if this discount is that next discount for us make sure you get subscribed to the channel so you don't miss out on any updates any analyses any early seats to meet up meet us over at the discord so you can get all of these alerts Right. Not only will you be able to get my alerts, but all the alerts from the rest of the experience analysts in here. Don't need plays and stocks, options, crypto, guys. The whole shambles. Y'all know how I go. Let's get right up into it, though. With AQST going on to this next downtrend. Now, AQST has been bullish for the last about three months. Now, I'm going for the lows. That's 68 cents all the way up to the highs of $2.67. Looking closer in on your daily chart right now. You better see how that, how that downtrend came in. It's still up at these heights right now, guys. On our weekly chart, we can see how that momentum is beginning to shift because of today's downtrend. Today's downtrend did not come in, giving people once again the chance to reload back up to the stock or get they whatever they got to do. You know, this stock might have continued to push on to three dollars. Next time this stock takes back off, it might not even be back this cheap again. Y'all know how that go with an average volume of four hundred sixty-one thousand. This current volume right now getting up to three hundred and six thousand. Decent volume to be coming in over that average volume of 461000 right now. Keep an eye out on your analysis order flow so you'll be able to see if you got more largest coming in or largest going out. And right now, we got more largest coming in. We got more largest going out. We got more mediums coming in. We got more smalls coming into this stock right now into the after hours while we have more inflow coming in that's out doing that outflow. We want to see the large-scale million-dollar USD orders start to rush back up into this stock. On Monday's trading day. And let me know in the comments below if you are in here. As you can see, this stock didn't take no. It, it didn't. It didn't dive all the way back down. Okay, I like that. That, that was a decent downtrend, especially to work its way up there for the course of about five days. Um, but yeah, it didn't dive all the way back down. to got a decent dip, and look at this wick right here that's getting made. We're in our daily chart. I'm gonna show you this back on your smaller time frames. Look at your 15 minute chart, so you'll be able to see how that stock touches down into the most oversold down here on that major discount right now is what people are looking for again it's the same setup same strategy every single trade you are not buying in high trying to sell higher you are not getting into an overbought and dangerous stock you are getting in there when it is oversold and safe you are timing that thing correctly by honing in on your macd indicator when you see this happening i'm a swing trader so i'm always looking at my swing trade time frames that's my four hour and my daily chart Long-term investors, of course, will be looking at their weeklies and their monthly, so on and so forth. Those much bigger time frame because they talk about holding in for months and years and whatnot, you know, passing it down through the generation, whatever they got planned. And if you talk about the day trade, of course, needless to say, you're looking at your smaller time frame. You got your 15-minute charts, your 10 minutes, 5 minutes, 1 minute. When I'm day trading, I don't look at the 10s, 5s, 3s. I'm only looking at that 15 in that one minute. As a swing trader, I'm only looking at my daily and my 4-hour chart, and then I'm honing in on my 15 minute chart to catch a qst like how you see this right here like i say it's easy money when you know what you're going for and it's the same set of same strategy every single trade you are buying low and sell high you catch all these alerts in time at the bank of Whitley discord and if you don't ever know what to go for you guys follow along in my alerts of course of course i'm throwing out my swing trades my day trades and my options the analysts are also throwing out their alerts swing alerts like i said i'm a swing so i follow along in the swing bots as well Everybody is throwing out their alerts in the non-analyst alert section, making sure that nobody misses out on any of this easy money on the hot day trade section. Easy money, like I say, you know, ch check out the sections and do your due diligence to know what you're getting yourself into. Of course, same as everything, the more experience that you get, the easier things do become, okay? We got the options alerts as well. My favorite options alerts in the Discord are options one, because it's the one that I've learned it off of, but... I am getting into the other options, guys. I like to use the bigger options, the options three and options two, to give me 
different um, variations, ideas of bullishness and bearishness, where things are headed towards in specific stocks at specific times. We got our news, such as so on and so forth, man. And if you are into the cryptos, we do have our crypto alerts that are going out 100% of the time, nonstop for all that good stuff, man. We got AQSCS coming out of their most recent news right now. And like I said, I recommend everybody gets their websites. So you can check things out. We're going to um, check out through their news article right now. This news right here is the news that everybody has been talking about. AQST is about to make the big difference and about to explode, be the be the therapeutic health stock of the future and whatnot. All of, all of this hot new news is about to come out right now, but we're about to get back there in a second. You want to make sure that you're checking out their pipelines when you get to their website first and foremost to see if they got, to see if their works are moving, are pushing on to the next phases. That's what it's all about. For their products to be getting FDA approvals on. And they got a lot of these things that's been getting FDA approvals, man, all across the board. And we got a few more that's coming fast right behind it. Check out all those. Check, check. We ain't got time to read what every single thing is up in here right now. But do your due diligence and do. Uh, right now, we see the stock holding a very strong still, even after this downtrend. And they say that this downtrend came, they, they said that it was some sort of bad news in Reddit or something like that. Um, like I say, um, don't 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 follow into any false news. You want to know if that news is ever real? You look into that company's website. As everybody else does, okay. But <laughs> they got their latest FDA acceptance of the proprietary name and the film. Now I was about to check all of this out before we do. Make sure that you do get subscribed to the channel so you don't miss any updates, any analysis, any early seats, and get over to the Discord. So you can get all of these alerts all the time. We got a quest of therapeutics that receives the conditional FDA acceptance of proprietary name and a film for lead candidates AQST 109, the endophernium subliminal film, sublingual film. Now, a pharma this pharmaceutical company advanced in medicines to solve patients' problems with current standards of care and provides transformative products to improve their lives. Today, announced that the U.S. Food and Drug Administration, that's FDA for short, has conditionally accepted the proprietary name and a film as the proposed brand name of the AQST 1-109. The company's polymer matrix-based antifirum pro drug administered as a sublingual film in development for the treatment of severe allergic reactions, including anaphylaxis. Guys, we're about to look through all this to find out what all of this is right now. We know that it's hard to interpret the news. Guys, I'm going to read this slowly through for you guys, okay? As slow as I can. Keep up. The proprietary name Anaphilum was developed after an extensive process extending external branding experts as well as patient feedback. The inner portion of the name is derived from anaphylaxis, and the film portion of the name is designed to remind patients and caregivers of the oral film product form. The company also completed a research study of healthcare practitioners across the U.S. to promote accurate prescription and safety interpretation of the name. And a film was developed in accordance with the FDA's guidance for the submission of evaluation of proprietary names. Final approval of the Anaphilim proprietary name is conditioned on FDA approval of the product candidate AQST-109. They are pleased that FDA has conditionally accepted the name and the film for AQST-109, says Daniel Barber. That's the chief executive officer of Equestus, okay? This is yet another important step towards making the end of film available to patients. So, guys, according to the literature, almost half of patients said that they didn't have their auto-injector with them during a severe allergic reaction. And even when available, it is often not used Due to the reasons such as needle phobia, they believe that changing the paret the 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 paragraphs start with improving how patients and caregivers interact with their prescribed product, guys. And this is where the AQST-109 the anaphylaxis comes in. So about the anaphylaxis, this is a serious systematic hypersensitivity reaction with rapid onset and potentially fatal. As many as 49 million people in the United States are at chronic risk for anaphylaxis. The reported, the reported incidence of anaphylaxis in the United States is 49.8 and 100,000 persons per year. 
with a prevalence of approximately 1.6% to 5.1%. Guys, this is all new to me as I'm reading it, okay? Direct cost of the anaphylaxis has been estimated out $1.2 billion per year with a direct expenditures of $294 million for anaphylaxis and indirect cost of $609 million. The frequency of hospital admissions for anaphylaxis has increased 500 to 700% in the last 10 to 15 years. 52% of patients who previously experienced anaphylaxis have never received an interferon auto-injective prescription, and 60% did not have an auto-injective currently available. The most common causes of anaphylaxis are food, such as peanuts, venom from insect stings, and medications. Interferon injection is currently standard of treatment intended to reverse the severe manifestation of anaphylaxis, which may include skin rash, throat swelling, respiratory problems, gastrointestinal, gastrointestinal distress, and loss of consciousness about the anaphylum. So the anaphylum, the AS, the AQST-109, is the polymer matrix-based anaphylum pro-drug candidate product administered as a sublingual film that is applied under the tongue for rapid delivery of the anaphylum. This product is similar in size to a postage stamp, weighs less than one ounce, and begins to dissolve on contact. No water or swallowing is required for administration. The package of anaphylum is thinner, smaller than an average credit card, can be carried in a pocket, and designed to withstand weather excursions such as exposure to rain and or sunlight guys and this might be the future of medicine even guys like i say do your due diligence the more you look into the more you understand you do not want to be buying into something not knowing what you're getting yourself into so i bring this news to you so you can understand what you're getting yourself into while you're talking about that aqsd a quest of therapeutics could be the hot new therapeutic stock of the future for you a quest of therapeutics is a pharmaceutical company advanced in medicines to solve patients problems with current standards of care and provide transfer Formative products to improve their lives. They are developing orally administered products to deliver complex molecules, providing novel alternatives to invasive and inconvenient standards of care therapeutics. Aquestive has five commercialized products marketed by the licensees in the U.S. and around the world. The company is the company also collaborates with pharmaceutical companies to bring new molecules to market to market using proprietary best-in-class technologies like farm film and has proven drug development and commercialization capabilities. Aquestive is advancing a late-stage proprietary product line focusing on treatment on treating diseases of central nervous system and earlier stage pipeline for the treatment of severe allergic reactions, including anaphylaxis. Guys, we'll look into more on AQST stock. Make sure that you do your due diligence as well. Read something. Watch something, guys. Make sure that you get subscribed to the channel so you don't miss out on any updates, any analysis, any early seats. It is the same set of same strategy every single trade. If you were catching my previous video and I was letting you guys know AQST was overbought and about to take that downtrend, you could have prepared yourself for this dip that's incoming now if you want to load this stock all the way from the lows of $1.68. All the way back up to the highs of over $2 and about to continue to push on. Let me know what you guys are holding on into in the comments below. Meet me up in the Discord. I'll see you guys in there and happy trading.